After some downtime at the end of the 2022 season, our development players commence 2023. Yeah, I, I remember um, the time, you know, at the end of last season, we had some time off and done a lot of reflecting on um, our 22 season. I remember thinking about the season of a whole, felt like the, the weight of the world was on the players, the weight of the world, you know, was on staff, the weight of the world were on our families, you know, they were all feeling, you know, it, it was a tough year that no one really wanted to go, go through. We also see a familiar face choosing to start two weeks early. I went through a year last year that I wasn't happy with. Um, I had had enough time off, unfortunately due to injuries that um, I, I, I had my break. I got away from, from footy and I was ready to come back and like I said I just wanted to be, I wanted to put myself in the best position to perform um, and lead as well. I think that, that was my mindset. Yeah, I sort of, you know, reevaluated after last year and um, I was pretty disappointed within myself and uh, I had a, I guess I was coming in with the mindset of I had a point to prove and I know I had it in me so I just wanted to prove prove to myself really that, you know, if I put my head down and train and, you know, I can be the fittest I can be and that's going to help me in the long run so yeah, my mindset was just to work really hard and just be disciplined and yeah, it still is now so it's been good. Lots of things go into a good pre-season, uh, but I think at the end of the pre-season what you're looking for is that uh, your players are physically ready for the upcoming season, that they have good clarity on how they want to play, uh, that you've had a, a, a good environment and culture right throughout the, uh, the off-season. You're meant to learn a lot in the pre-season, you're meant to get a lot fitter, a lot stronger, a lot faster. Um, so going in with an open mindset but making sure that you're really switched on because the little blocks before Christmas, um, whether it's six, seven, eight weeks, they're pretty intense so um, you're pretty much going every single day and there's no game on Saturday so you don't have to be fresh for the game on Saturday, you're just, you're getting whipped every day. Let's go. The remainder of the squad arrives at the centre of excellence. Nervous, excited, few new faces, fresh faces, so um, yeah, it's a bit weird. Feels good, though. good to be back. It was probably the only worry I had coming here. I knew, I knew Newcastle, the town, I'd love it. I knew, you know, we've got a footy team amongst the squad. I know that we've got a team that could be successful. Um, but I just, you just don't know whether you're going to gel with blokes and a lot of blokes have been here for a long time and overall I think we're really lucky we've got a really good bunch of um, blokes here that enjoy each other's company.
kit that we chose this year was one uh, based around um, leadership. Uh, we felt that um, that was an area that we could Im improve on. Um, you know, we have some, some good leaders here, but we thought that they could be developed and, and we, we thought there was a void underneath. So we wanted to, to some develop some leadership throughout the whole group. Uh, this camp uh, enabled that. The young blokes, they got a couple of weeks under their belt, but for a lot of the older guys, and they, they got 24 hours. They came in, done a fitness test, and then we were on the bus and we were going. There's a fair bit of head noise getting about, especially when you've got to fly up to Brisbane and then drive out to where the camp was, uh, was held. So there's a lot of nervous energy getting about, a lot of worried boys. The chatter happens like we're doing this, we're going to be, we're going to be doing this. And it's a good nervous energy. It's an excited energy as well. Um, they, they gave us a list of all these things that we had to get. And like you look on it, and it was like long pants. Why do we need that for? sleeping bag, are we sleeping in the bush? There's a lot of unknown about it, obviously it was pretty secret um, about what the, the camp was going to entail. Um, basically just said there's an emergency contact that our partners and family had been given. Other than that, you know, we we're going to have our phones taken off us for the whole time we were there and there's nothing really around what we we're going to do. Yeah, and heaps of head noise. It was, uh, well, I knew there was going to be a camp at some stage, but we were told in our break that it was going to be in the first week and that's a good, uh, a good smack in the face, a good, a good welcome back after a, a few weeks off. Scared of heights, man. Absolutely terrified of heights. pre-season we got battle ropes have to be going the whole time we've got a med ball that we've got to carry up and down the field constantly um, this little thing here has to be held up off the ground the whole time until we're done what else we got a uh, 25 kilometer ski erg we got a uh, what is it, a 30k row and uh, 
The uh, 25k bike. Day one, last day preseason. Let's go. Let's go. Red team, baby. Red team. Woo, woo. The green team's all in, but, mate, we're, we're a bit depleted. Um, we've got a few rehab boys compared to the other teams. We're the underdogs today, but we like that. Um, everyone's going to ride us off, but... Yeah, it's a bit of story, eh, bro? We've been at the bottom, and we come back from nowhere, and we've, we've, we won it. So I think we'll do it again, and I'll back my team here. Yeah, 100%. Like I'm back in uh, MVP of the day to be Temple. <laughs> Let's go. So, Toss, we've got a challenge today, mate. How do you think we'll go against the other teams? Mate, we've been strong all month, this week, month of December. Um, yeah. We're ahead at the moment. It's quite nerve-wracking, but we know what we've got to do. As, leader, workers, as so. the leader of the group, mate, what, what are the, what's the last message? What's the final thing you want to say to the board? I just want us to keep doing what we're doing, mate. Working hard. The rest will come. All right, let's go. You today. heard it here first. Hey, Ben, I'm here around the Orange team. We're all ready to go. Boys are ready to go. Joe's up, baby. Let's go. Today, man. The boys just pull through the line is on top every day. Okay, let's go. The winner of the day is orange. Winner of the day, but the winner of the month, the state. Yeah, you know, we went through hardship last year, but. We got, a, we got a lot of points to prove this year and I reckon just everyone's so excited and you can tell that by the way people have come back in the pre-season. I've never seen a, I've never seen a group spread across so fit. We learn a lot about ourselves. Um, there's been a lot of talk of, and a lot of pressure I guess of how we've delivered in the past couple of years but you know, I think us boys, we know what we're capable of. Uh, we you know, showed through the camp and we're, we're, we're a tight connected bunch so yeah, I think we can take a lot out of it. There's a really strong connection with this group and I'm looking forward to going out there and playing with the guys because that, that's usually where you develop the connection, I think, playing footy and being in the trenches together. I feel like we're a bit of a step ahead already, so for us, it's, it's definitely going to be one of our strengths. I can't wait to get out there and um, see what the pre-season will enable us to do in our games. I think it, it's going to be a really good feeling to be able to um, show our identity, um, show what we stand for and, and play some um, good, hard, uh, strong and tough uh, nights football that we know we're all capable of. I just want us to really compete this year and perform. Um, yeah, bringing back a bit of pride in the, in the place and yeah, winning some footy games. I'm looking forward to seeing the boys, you know, give the true account of what they're capable of. And I know there's so much more in the what that we gave last year and, and I want to see that. Because um, they deserve it. The town deserves it, no doubt. The club deserves it. But these players deserve it too. And I don't want us to forget that.